Okay guys, uh, let's go back to our uh, testing area. The time now is almost uh, 12 o'clock. So we can now see the maximum power that uh, this uh, panel, 600 watts panel can uh, produce. So it's already cleaned up and I think uh, it will uh, generate more as compared to the last measurement that uh, we did. Good day everyone. Uh, this video is uh, intended for Alibaba seller as I'm going to share the story behind this Elejoy solar panel tester. Anyway, this video refers to my expression or uh, appreciation to Kathleen's uh, efforts of sending another one, of course the same item. Kathy Lin is a sales manager, uh, Taizhu Jiaojiang Washing Electronic Company. I uh, already watched videos uh, using Elejoy Solar uh, Panel Tester or PB Testers. I saw it from uh, Will Pross and uh, Andy, the off-grid grads in uh, Australia. But uh, the rating of their uh, tester is only 400. So this one is uh, already 800. So the rating is uh, twice uh, than the rating being used by these two great guys, uh, Will Pross and Andy. So Andy and uh, Will, if you guys want to get another one, yeah, just contact Kathleen in uh, Alibaba. Uh, without uh, further ado, uh, actually it was uh, April 6 when I proceeded uh, paying one item. Next, it was picked up by the courier in China and on the same day, the tracking uh, number was issued. So, this one is already the replacement, not the previous one that I waited for a very long time and until now, it has not yet arrived. So, as I've said a while back, uh, on the same day, the tracking number was issued and uh, it was only released for Philippine uh, shipment on uh, April uh, 11, uh, 2022. On which uh, date, uh, at 11 p.m., the unit uh, was landed in the Philippines. So that was April uh, 11, 2022. So since uh, the delivery is uh, cheap, it needs uh, 10 to 15 working days prior to delivery in my uh, Philippine address. So that is a uh, local address already. So I waited again for more than 20 days. So that's no longer 10 to 15 working days. On April 19, I made a follow through and uh, I said the unit is already in the Philippines but no delivery yet. What happened? And she replied, these days the courier is not very fast. So I started doubting already whether or not I could uh, receive the item that was initially uh, sent. April uh, 24, I sent a message again to Kati. I was asking if the courier had uh, responded and she said uh, it needs one more week. So I can do nothing yeah, but to wait. So on April 27, Kati gave phone numbers and instructed me to make phone calls to the courier. But unfortunately, the tracking number given to me was wrong. Their tracking numbers, um, the first digit, refers to something not letter Q. But uh, the tracking number initially given to me by Kathy started with letter Q. And then again, I informed uh, Kathy. And that's the time when I expressed my uh, disappointment. So, she decided to send another one. But uh, this time, FedEx uh, will handle the shipping. So, Kathy is a very good person. So, she proceeded sending another unit on uh, May 7. And on the same date, um, Kathy gave a new tracking number, which uh, this time through Federal Express. And today, May 12, 2022, I'm very much delighted. I feel happy because the, this package has uh, arrived. 
So thank you Kati, thank you for your efforts. Uh, thank you for uh, keeping me updated while the item is in transit. So what's the lesson of the story? So the lesson of the story is uh, do not engage in a very cheap cost of shipping to avoid this bad uh, experience of mine. So once again Kati, uh, thank you for uh, taking care of your uh, client. And with this, with this item, I'll get this opened and um, we'll conduct a uh, testing to see if this uh, unit uh, will perform well. So we will now open this uh, parcel. Wow. Okay, there, there. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. This one is the business card. Okay. So there, there is a email address of uh, Kathy at ljoy.com so if you want to get in touch and uh, uh, purchase unit uh, just contact Kathy there uh, her email address is Kathy at ljoy.com so okay let's unzip there you go wow this is really 800 watts EY 800 okay and we have probes here four pieces of probes okay so it has mc4 connector so it is easy to to plug in with the solar panel so another pair is has alligator uh, clip so chip, chip. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So, guys, uh, this one is a auto automatic MPPT detection. Another feature of this uh, tester is a manual MPPT detection. So, two kinds of detections available here. One is auto or automatic, and another one is manual MPPT detection another feature is the over voltage over temperature over current protection so this is nice another protection here available solar panel reverse connection protection so so that only means that uh, if you wrongly uh, connected that uh, instead of uh, inserting the positive and you got inserted the negative uh, probe or uh, clip then uh, this one is uh, protected. So there's a protection device inside this uh, tester. And uh, the good thing here is no additional power uh, supply required as uh, compared to many MPPTs or solar charge controller. It requires battery for MPPT to operate. Okay. Uh, here is a positive uh, pole and this one is a negative pole. And as I've said a while ago, this is auto MPPT test button. This one, the manual MPPT test button. And of course, the backlight button. So here in the LCD, the power or the maximum power, we can see also the BMP. We can see also the IMP. And of course, the BOC. So with regards to technical uh, data, the power that can uh, measure by this uh, tester or the solar panel multimeter um, it ranges from uh, 5 watts to 800 watts and the voltage um, that can be tested uh, ranges from 12 volts to 60 volts the maximum current that can be tested is 35 amperes so 0 to 35 so the dimension, the dimension of this 165 mm or millimeter and uh, 
that is the leg 185 and uh, width from here to here so um, 80 millimeters and when it comes to thickness it has only uh, 30 millimeters okay so let's try to check my uh, panel okay guys so we will try to test our uh, panel this one is uh, 600 watts and as you can see so many dust on top of it but uh, I will try to test and then later on I will uh, clean it up and then try another uh, test so but this time because I'm very excited I'm gonna test this now so this one is uh, for the negative probe of uh, MC4 okay there and this one is for the for the positive uh, side of the PB module okay so let's see there Pmax it's uh, already in a manual mode there auto mode at uh, present uh, we're having a 312.6 uh, watts uh, maximum power and uh, for the BMP we have uh, 31.11 as to IMP we have 10.08 and of course the BOC uh, 36.82 right so testing testing wait okay I'll just show you the specs of this uh, panel this panel is uh, too heavy I don't know if I can uh, lift it up I'll try oh my goodness okay there, there. okay so this panel has a maximum or Pmax of uh, 600 watts voltage or BMP is 34.4 IMP is uh, 17.4 and the VOC is 41.5 so okay okay we will just start insert there uh, the default setting is uh, manual I will press this uh, auto MPPT button there you go it's now testing so the Pmax went up to 348.1 for the maximum power as uh, compared to rated BMP we have now 29.91 and IMP we also get 11.64 amperes and the VOC open circuit voltage is uh, 37.04 so that's it for now and uh, maybe at uh, 12 12 noon we will uh, do the retesting okay guys uh, let's go back to our uh, testing area the time now is almost uh, 12 o'clock so we can now see the maximum power that uh, this uh, panel 600 watts panel can uh, produce so it's already cleaned up and I think uh, it will uh, generate more as compared to the last measurement that uh, we did. We will uh, disconnect this uh, MC4. This is for the negative side. And this one is for the positive side. So I'll just uh, disconnect first. This line is already connected with my MPP, SRNE uh, solar charge controller. So. I might uh, shut it down first before disconnecting. Okay, so we will be using again the solar panel multimeter. Okay, this is the positive probe. This is negative. And negative side of the panel okay there and the uh, positive positive side there you go oh there's a backlight already okay I'll choose auto and there 
it's now uh, processing so wow <laughs> the sun is not cooperating <laughs> oh my goodness it only gets 181 as you can see the BMP is uh, 29.66 volts while the IMP is only 5.86 and it's getting lower <laughs> it's getting lower it is now 170 oh my goodness let's uh, see the clouds oh so many clouds so many shadings I think this is not the best time to conduct the test yeah so guys uh, I think I have to make a retest on another day because uh, the weather is not good so uh, as we can see it is getting lower 147 so think we will uh, do a retest on another day so for now uh, ladies and gentlemen I will end uh, this video and uh, we'll have another set of uh, testing of solar panel in uh, the coming days so thank you for watching and thank you for uh, supporting my uh, channel bye bye